I I come from a, all my families in sales, and I it took me longer than my parents to get into that, just because of different personalities. But you know, I've seen so many startups the the CEO and the founders they develop the product that's their baby, and so it kind of feels wrong to them like they're they're going out and talking about the product 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 but it, like they're not managing the sales team because they're so focused on spreading the word or they're it just feels wrong to them almost mm-hmm. like because it's not their background yeah so and i i think my argument to anybody who's like sitting there because i i totally agree and i i remember the transition being strange but you know, a really good customer call discovery process is effectively a customer development. You know, on the product management side, if you've done product management, if you've done a customer development meeting where you're asking a customer about or a prospect or whoever about their pains, their challenges, how they do this, how they do that. I mean, that's that's discovery. And then mm-hmm. there's no like, I don't know, the way I close, I'm like, hey, this is what I recommend. What do you think about that? And they're like, oh, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. I'm like, cool. They give me their credit card number. Happens just like that every time. <laughs> yeah. No variation. Yeah. I mean, obviously exaggerating, but those are kind of the high notes. It's, you know, you're doing customer discovery, you make a recommendation, they go, yeah, okay. Or I have some questions. And then, right. yeah, answer, answer their questions. Right. And you, um, your salespeople that you hire need to be able to do the same thing. And you also need to be able to confidently say no when it's not a good fit, when it might not be for them, and have that integrity of your company and have those qualifiers and let that trickle down to your sales team.